other violent crime, including looting and rioting, was increasing also. And the signs pointed toward prob the problem getting even worse with the campaign to demonize and defund the police gaining traction and criminals increasingly believing that they could operate with impunity. What we committed to Chicago in connection with Operation Legend were 400 federal agents, nine, over $9 million of grant money to the police under our COPS program, which allowed the police to bring in 75 more positions, and $3.5 million in technical assistance to support the expanded anti-crime operations. Together, federal, state, and local law enforcement in Chicago, working as part of Operation Legend and our joint task forces, have reversed that dangerous spike in violence. Federal agents and deputy U.S. marshals, along with state and local task force, task force officers, have made more than 500 arrests, many for violent crime like homicide, sexual assault, and robbery. And federal prosecutors have charged federal charges, 124 defendants, including 90 with firearms-related charges and 30 with drug trafficking-related charges. Many of those defendants are now detained pending trial rather than causing harm on the streets. The results of those actions speak for themselves. Over the first five weeks of Operation Legend in Chicago, murders dropped by 50% over the previous five weeks. August ultimately saw a 45% decrease in murders compared to July and a 35% decrease compared to June. In fact, Chicago in August saw the lowest number of murders at any time since April. The bottom line is that Operation Legend has played a critical role in cutting Chicago's murder rate roughly in half since before the operation. 